Hi guys, I'm coming to you from the beach today. I had the idea of filming a video about the perfect sunscreen for your specific need. And so what would be the need if you're on the beach or if it's summertime and you're outdoors and active all day. And so I thought I would share with you what I use at the beach and what I use if I'm gonna be outdoors all day on a hot summer day. My two favorite go-tos are the Skin Better Science lotions. They're very high UVB protection. This one is SPF 75. This year is SPF 70. They both have the highest possible UVA protection of four pluses, and they are water resistant up to 80 minutes. The difference between these two is the tinted one has a slight glow, and I prefer this one because I'm a little bit dry, and the sheer is completely matte, but I find it dries me out a little bit, so this one would be perfect for oily skin. The other thing I wanna mention, if you do purchase one of these, don't throw away the cap that it comes with because if you're traveling, it's great to reapply. It just looks like this, it's a tiny little cap. And if you keep it, then you won't accidentally ever dispense any lotion while you're traveling and it's in your bag. And for the body, my favorite always is the Color Science Body Shield, which also comes in a bronze. You can mix these two together for the perfect tan if you're pale at the beach, uh, like me. This is SPF 50 and it's a PA rating of three plus and it's got shea butter in it so it offers some hydration for the body and it's not greasy at all. It's super easy to apply. This would also be my first choice for kids, as well as the Skin Better Science sunscreen stick. That one it just glides on so easily. It's so easy to apply because it's a stick form and it just offers great protection, very easy to apply. This one and the Skin Better Science stick are not greasy. They're both sheer and those would be my favorite choices for kids. And always, always to top off my uh, face shield by Color Science. Always great for reapplication, whether it's your face, your hands, your neck, or anywhere else you want to apply it. As you probably already know, my favorite sunscreens are broad spectrum mineral sunscreens. I don't use chemical sunscreens. I don't use sunscreens with nanoparticles, um, ones that have been animal tested. And I enjoy sunscreens that give great UVA, UVB protection, blue light infrared protection, and a spectrum of antioxidants. And of course, a natural finish. Before I dive into the video, I just quickly want to remind you what the SPF value means. If a sunscreen is SPF 30, it's 97% UVB protection. And if it's SPF 45, it's 98% protection. So the sunscreens that I use that are SPF 70, 75, 68, those are gonna be closer to 99% UVB protection. The UVA has a separate system of measurement which uses a plus sign and that scale goes from one, or I guess from zero to four, but all good sunscreens would have a minimum of two to three. And that protects you from UVA rays. Those are the ones that cause uh, premature aging. So I always think of UVA a stands for aging, which it doesn't fit that. So within this category, there are all kinds of different sunscreens and we will go concern by concern and see which one is right for you. For very, very fair porcelain skin, such as Fitzpatrick type one, the safest way to go is going to be a sheer sunscreen. So the Taizo two, which is sheer, and the Skin Better Science Sheer Lotion and Stick are all great options. When you wanna add some tint, it's very difficult. I do know one of my subscribers did try the Sun Better Lotion and she said it made her a little bit yellow, so she wasn't fond of this. The um, Color Science Flex in Fair might be worth trying, although, with this one, I think you might have success if you combine the flex with a sheer, and that way you diminish the amount of color and pigment you get with this, and that might also work. 
if you've tried these and you have thoughts about them, let me know. And I love the feedback from you guys because it helps me know what to put out there for everyone else. Another common concern that affects children and us grown-ups is choosing a sunscreen that doesn't stain your clothes, particularly white clothes, because those stains are really difficult to get out. So I have three sunscreens for that. The Skin Better Science Stick SPF 56. This is one of my favorites. It also has 80 minutes water resistance and it is clear. It is also empty, but this one will not stain your clothes. The Skin Better Science Lotion will also not stain your clothes. And of course the powder, um, Color Science powder won't stain clothes either. In terms of pretty much all of the other sunscreens, they may leave some stains. And oftentimes you can wash them out. It just takes a little bit of effort, but these will not stain your clothes. The Color Science Body Shield also did not stain light colored clothes, although the face shields did. My favorite reapplication for face and body is the Color Science uh, Brush On Shield. It just is so easy to apply wherever you may need a little protection. And if you're never sure, if you're ever unsure about how much product you have in the brush, you can just flick it. And I don't know if you can see that or not. There's quite a bit of product that came out. And if nothing is coming out, you just close it, you tap it, open it up, and there you go. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's quite a bit of powder coming out. So this is great for reapplication in your purse, in your car, on the go, which is why I love this particular sunscreen so much. What about oily skin? If you're oily, it's so difficult to find a sunscreen that won't make you shiny and won't accentuate any kind of shine. What is the best sunscreen for oily skin? And by far, my favorite is going to be the Skin Better Science Sheer Lotion. This is SPF 70 with a PA rating of 4 plus and 80 minutes water resistance. This is a fantastic sunscreen for oiliness because it's slightly drying. So when I use this, it dries me out a little bit. But if your combination to oily, this could be a perfect choice. Another one that is really good for oily skin is the sunstick. This, this sunstick keeps coming up in all categories because it really just is a fantastic sunscreen all around. It's great for face, for body, for all skin shades, um, and just about all types of skin. So again, it's sheer. It goes on just minimally white and it blends out and you can't even see it. And after it dries down, you can't even feel that you put sunscreen on. So this one is one of my favorites. What about very sensitive and post-procedure skin? All of these sunscreens are designed for sensitive and post-procedure skin. However, one in particular, the Color Science All Calm, is specifically designed for redness. This is SPF 50 at PA 4 plus, and it has a silicone base and it also has a color. It only comes in one color. And the purpose of the color is to act as a primer and a corrector for the redness. So it has a light but opaque color which neutralizes red tones. And if it's too light for you, you can always apply a bronzer on top to bring it more uh, up to your natural shade. But this is very, very good if you've had laser, if you've had any kind of procedure, or if you're sensitive with rosacea, this is a great way to protect your skin. Another category is best coverage, sort of a hybrid crossover to a foundation for those that don't wanna layer too many products on their face. They would rather put on a sunscreen and go but have the benefit of light coverage. The winner of this category is without a doubt the Color Science Flex. This is a light to medium foundation equivalent in a phenomenal sunscreen that is four plus for UVA protection, SPF 50. It is 40 minutes water resistant. 
It comes in four different shades. It has beautiful finishes. It blends so nicely. I have a dedicated video on this sunscreen in particular. So if you're interested, I'll leave, I'll leave a link down below. And I will also leave a link to all the products I'm talking about. This sunscreen goes on white and quickly changes color and is just so natural and so pretty. And if you can't find the right tone out of the four choices, as always with color science, you can always buy two and blend them together. And that's another way to get the right shade if one of the four isn't a perfect fit for you. This is a phenomenal sunscreen and light to medium foundation. Another great one, which I can't find, but I have here, is the Skin Better Science Compact. That one is SPF 68, and it gives a beautiful color. It only comes in one shade. It gives a beautiful color, but I would say it gives more color rather than coverage. So if you're looking for some coverage, the Flex is a better choice. If you're looking for just that, nat uh, that light hint of color, then the compact is very beautiful. Caveat for people who have oily skin, the compact can exacerbate shininess. I know a few people who reported back to me that even though they loved the color, they didn't enjoy wearing it because they felt they got too much shine from that particular sunscreen. Next two categories are gonna be most matte and most glow. So starting off with most matte, we are back to the sunscreen stick, which is again, so neutral. Once it's applied, you feel as though you're not wearing any sunscreen. We've got the sheer lotion, which is absolutely matte, but can be slightly drying if you don't have oily skin. And the third choice, if you like a silicone feel, is going to be the Taizo 2. This is a completely matte, sheer sunscreen. This sunscreen is SPF 40, PA4+, and it also contains antioxidants, vitamin C and vitamin E, and it's 80 minutes water resistant. So now if we're looking for that glow, the glowiest of them all is without a doubt the Color Science Glow. However, it is so glowy that if you have any lines or wrinkles, it will accentuate your lines and wrinkles. It is a wonderful highlight, and if you're young and you want to glow like a strobe, this is a great choice. It gives a beautiful gold sort of a glow, which is very, very, very glowy. Can you see that? There's a lot of glow going on with a gold undertone. It's pretty, but it's definitely not for everyone. Another great option if you're looking for that glow is the Elastin Hydra Tint. This is a favorite of many people for a very natural glow, just healthy glowy glass skin. The only thing with this is if you are very fair, you might find it gives you an orange hint, so it may not be for you. And in terms of properties, this is SPF 36. Unfortunately, Elastin doesn't give a PA rating, and this is 40 minutes water resistant. So I think this is a great sunscreen on a day that's cloudy, on a day when you're gonna be indoors, on a day when you're just running around. But if you're going to be spending a full day outside, I would not reach for this one. I would opt for more protection. Wonderful choices for sunscreen if you have dry skin are going to be the Skin Better Science Tinted Lotion. This has a mild light glow to it and it's very hydrating, so this is phenomenal. And again, it's PA4+, SPF 75, 80 minutes water resistant. It does not have a silicone feel to it when it's applied. It's a little bit thick and it warms up in your hands and then it becomes a little thinner and easier to distribute on the skin. It blends really nicely. Another choice for dry skin would again be the Taizo 2. If you prefer a silicone feel, this is a great one and it's easy to distribute. It doesn't dry you out and it isn't glowy. So it'll be a nice matte finish for dry skin that won't dry you out further. 
What about if you're on the go, you don't have a mirror, you need to reapply and you don't wanna leave yourself with a mess or areas that are darker than others, skipped regions that will be obvious when someone looks at you. Um, a lot of a lot of the sheer choices are obviously going to be uh, good options because they're sheer. So we've got the Taizo 2 again, and we've got the stick, and we've got the Skin Better Science lotion. All of these are great on the go. You don't need a mirror. You don't need to worry about looking funny if you can't check yourself in the mirror. Another good one is the Tone Smart lotion. The reason I put this one in is because it does have a tone, but if you just blend it by feel, it's good enough because the tone is very, very light. This does not have a lot of pigment to it. So at the end of the application, it's pretty much a neutral color. Lastly, what if you are looking for sunscreen under the eye? My favorite under eye sunscreen is the Color Science Total Eye. However, I will say that if I'm out and about in the sun, I take my face sunscreens, whether it's the Skin Better Science lotions or any of the other ones, I bring them all the way up and that is for sunscreen protection purposes. Then I reapply on top with the Color Science Total Eye. And the reason for that is I don't use this product for sun protection, it's SPF 35, which is good, and PA3+. So some of the other sunscreens are better for sun protection, specifically UVA protection. However, the benefits of this are that it is a primer, a concealer, it neutralizes dark circles and uneven skin tones, and it has reflective properties that help diminish the appearance of dark circles. So it's a wonderful eye product in so many ways, although the sunscreens that I've mentioned in this video are superior to this in terms of sunscreen. So that's why I use both around the eyes. That pretty much covers the various options for your specific needs and which sunscreens are better for what purposes. If you're interested, I do have additional videos. I have one designated only on the Color Science Flex, and I also have a video on the whole Color Science line and the technology that goes into Color Science, as well as another video on the Skin Better Science sunscreens and the technology that goes into those. So if you're interested, I'll leave them down below and all the links to all the products I will also leave down below in the description box. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.